Hickman remains the setback. Karam. A quick burst. And a big play. Really nice play from Higdon and Michigan overall. Uh, let's look at the backside first. This is a down G blocking scheme on the backside. You got JBB on this outside linebacker. Ben Mason fills this gap. And then let's also look at on when you blocking down. Nebraska really plays into this. With, they have a twist between these two uh, defensive linemen that really plays into the blocking scheme here. So notice how JBB uh, is, is engaged. Just a good job here. Ben Mason's engaged. And... Uh, and when you really block down the line pretty well. So, no issues on the backside here. Ruiz has a really important block. So, he stretches down the line to this defensive uh, lineman before getting to the second level here. I want you to watch the eyes of this linebacker. He's going to be following Ben Mason. That's his key. That really allows Ruiz to get his initial block right there. And boom. So, he's off his block. Given that hesitation from this linebacker that allows Ruiz to set this gap and allow this path for Higdon. So really good job, but really good play design as well. On the front side, you've got Ben Bradison just completely mauling his guy on his kickout block. This mil this outside linebacker is flowing up and uh, Ben Bradison gets a really nice pancake. Front side as well, you got Runyon and uh, Gentry setting this defensive end uh, inside that allows a path for Higdon. I'm not sure why uh, Gentry doesn't go for this front side linebacker. I assume it has to do with his alignment. That's something I'm not 100% on. So notice how this outside linebacker went way too far outside. That's because look at all the space there was out here. As a result, Higdon really has a, has a nice, easy path up there. Great job by DPJ to run downfield and get this block. That makes it a really hard play for the safety on Higdon, who's bouncing outside. He can't get that angle, and Higdon picks up an extra 20 yards because of it. So really nice play design and good execution. Amazingly similar and dominant, just as Higdon is in the ground game. Look at him go! Touchdown for Higdon on another down G running play for Michigan. Against the same blocks here, so let's look at the backside. You got JBB and uh, Ben Mason on the backside. They do really well on their blocks. You'll see here JBB's engaged, Ben Mason's engaged. Uh, no one's getting through, so they do their jobs really well. Uh, and when you really makes this play, so he's just going down the line and he's going to push both these guys over. He's going to maul them both over. Uh, really good job here. Uh, Ruiz kind of gets pushed back but again since and when he does such a good job he takes out both defensive linemen and really helps out now when he does try to get to the second level here but number seven's a linebacker and he can't quite get there not the worst in the world but uh you know Brayson's got this pull block on this edge on this outside linebacker he does a really good job to create quite a gap for for Higdon to run through so really good job by Brayson again on this kick kick out block uh, on the front side, you got Runyon blocking down. Again, he's helped by uh, the block from Unwenyu. And then you have Gentry going to the second level and picking up one of the linebackers on the back side. So uh, good job by both of them. They got their assignments and, and did a good job. I want you to watch both of these linebackers for, uh, for Nebraska. They both have their eyes on Ben Mason. So as Ben Mason goes across this formation, they're both... They're like, they hit each other as they're watching Ben Mason. That leaves them a really easy target, and they're already kind of out of this play given that Higdon's already on his way out there. So not good for the linebackers there. And then uh, really what makes this play is Donovan Peoples-Jones on this crack back, crack back block on the safety. Uh, I don't know if I've seen a wide receiver block this well uh, in a game, and he just destroys him. I'll do a replay here. He really hurts 24 there. And that springs a huge play from Higdon. So good blocking all around and, and perfect execution to, to bring this touchdown. I thought it was a good no call. Nice and seven blitz oh, here. Bingo! Away. There's your man, Zach Gentry, right on cue. Nebraska runs a long developing blitz here, and Michigan does well to pick it up as, as well as they can. So Nebraska... Uh, this defensive end is going to the outside. 
Same with this defensive tackle. Um, this frees up this linebacker to come in, and his whole job is to occupy Ruiz. What they want to do is they want to get two linemen on each side to take out the defensive lineman and this linebacker to occupy Ruiz. They want that to free up this middle linebacker coming late and then this safety coming downhill through that same A gap. Since they only, since Michigan only has uh, Higdon here to pick up one of them, that's going to allow for one free blocker to get to Patterson. So let's see how this play pans out. So yeah, right here you see Michigan has two linemen on one uh, lineman on each side. Ruiz is occupied as well. Higdon has to take out this uh, middle linebacker blitzing, but this safety will get a free shot on Patterson. So, you know, Higdon does a good job there. Um, it's just by nature of the blitz that uh, that they get pressure. So uh, Michigan's running a crossing, kind of a mesh route here. Uh, you got Perry running a slant. Gentry's running a crossing route. You have an outside, uh, kind of like a out and up, almost like a fade from DPJ here. And then you have an inside release deep crossing route from uh, Nico Collins. So again, the blitz kind of leaves Gentry wide open here because uh, there's none. Of, these linebackers are not here to guard uh, Gentry. Uh, Patterson's eyes the whole time are on this mesh route. I think he's looking right here. Uh, if anyone is falling back into his own or uh, what the result of this mesh route is. Since this guy does not fall back into his own, uh, Gentry's wide open. Despite being in the face of pressure, Patterson delivers a nice ball on target, and it's a, a really good pickup on third and 11. So uh, good blitz by Nebraska, but better play by Michigan. Otherwise, you know, I'm not going to go. An unbalanced look again. They've been having success with it all day. True, Tim. Yeah, true Wilson. And you hear the Zone blocking scheme from Michigan. Really good run by True Wilson. So let's first look at this, uh, how Nebraska is lining up to this play. You already got three defenders here occupied by the trips from Michigan. Michigan's going to allow this edge defender to go into the backfield since he's running on the backside. It's not really a big concern. Um, on the backside of the play, you have Gentry on this edge defender, JBB on this defensive tackle. Their whole goal is to not let these guys flow into the backfield. They do really well, and Gentry especially gets good push on his guy. Um, in the center of the line, you have Unwenyu and Ruiz initially double teaming this nose tackle. A uh, key block here is Unwenyu falling off the double and getting to the inside of this linebacker. Uh, True Wilson really helps set this up. So notice right away, okay, they're on the double team right here. True Wilson hasn't really decided where he's going yet. There's a lot of options for him to go. Notice this lane kind of opening up, and that's where this linebacker is kind of looking to fill. As True Wilson runs up to the line, only now is he making this cut to the outside. Given that hesitation, that allowed on when you time to fall off the double team. Ruiz still does a good job here. Uh, but when you fell off the double team, picked up the linebacker, given that hesitation of the cut from True Wilson. So just really good timing and really good awareness to wait on that cut to freeze the linebacker. Uh, you got Bradison here. He does pretty well in 96. Uh, you might want a little bit more movement from Bradison, but he does well to stay square and uh, to not let the defender get to True Wilson. And finally, you got Runyon blocking this edge rusher here uh, for Nebraska. He kind of takes himself out of the play, so good patience from Runyon to let the defender run himself upfield and then stay engaged while True Wilson cuts inside. So really well-designed play. Uh, great, great cut from True Wilson. Mason the setback. Wide open, untouched. Michigan running down G again, this time with Ben Mason, one of his three touchdowns. Uh, notice on the backside that Michigan leaves uh, number 43 to rush the edge. Since it's backside of the play, they don't need to deal with him. Uh, Eubanks has to deal with 14. Uh, you'll have both Runyon and Bradison kind of blocking down. I do think Bradison's job was to get to number 7. But number seven kind of flows down with the play and is a non-factor, so it's not a big deal. But 96 does shoot up field. He occupies both Runyon and Bradison. Um, but they don't let anyone through on the backside, so good job there. I think Ruiz is the only one who could have done uh, better on this play. Number 99 shoots up field and actually gets a good amount of movement from Ruiz. So I think Ruiz needs to do a better job of, of setting his ground. Notice that this is the only Nebraska player to get their hands on to Ben Mason. So not the best from Ruiz, but uh, you know, not, not the worst, I guess. 
you got to win you pulling. He's the down G block. He's picking up number 12. Uh, he sets, you know, the edge really well here. Number 12 is pretty undersized to deal with, uh, to deal with and win you. So a uh, really good job here. And that sets this huge hole for Ben Mason to run through. So good job. And then you got three front side blocks that are really important to the success of this play. You got JBB down on 94. You got Gentry on 25. And Sean McCune is going down to this front side linebacker, number three. Uh, notice how they kind of leave 23 uh, to not do anything. He's going to insert himself here on the edge of the line just because his key is on McCune and McCune comes to block down. So 23 takes himself out of this play, uh, but really, really excellent movement and excellent blocks from both uh, tight ends, McCune and Gentry here. That really sets this wall um, so front side blocks were really key in setting up uh, this Ben Mason touchdown, and it's a good job overall. All around defensive play by this group. Kicked in the setback again. Play fake for Shea. Patterson finds his man. Good play by Michigan on first and 10 here. It's a play action pass. Uh, on the protection standpoint, um, you know, Nebraska is only sending four defenders uh, on a pass rush here, so Michigan has – not only the five down linemen, but Gentry stays in a bit to help JBB. It's not needed, though. All the offensive linemen, as you can see here, they're all doing really well. No one needs any help. You got two on one on nose tackle. Uh, so everyone's manned up really well, and Patterson really has a lot of time to, to throw the ball. Routes on this play, you got an inside release corner route that, is, that eventually gets thrown to. Um, you have a uh, inside release crossing route. I think that's called a dig route right at about the first down marker. And then you have a post route from DPJ here. It's a bad drawn post route, but uh, from Gentry, he's initially helping JBB here. He gets a chip block, heads out to the flat. And then off the play action, you got Higdon running out to the flat as well. Um, so, you know, pretty simple route tree. Uh, nothing, nothing too complicated going on here. The eyes of Patterson, I'm not 100% on. I think his first read is over here. It looks like he's looking at Perry. I'm guessing this is read number one to see kind of the safety. There's a safety over top here to see what he does. His eyes will shift inside. I think he's probably looking uh, at this linebacker or this linebacker to see the viability of this crossing route from Perry. He's, you know, right here, it looks like he's loading up. He saw the separation for Nico Collins. Uh, on his cut, so uh, he delivers a, a nice strike there. Looking at Nico Collins' route, gets a lot of separation right here. 23 is already grabbing, and he uh, makes the, the cut on his corner route and does a really nice job. Feet from Collins are beautiful, and it makes, you know, that's an NFL catch. So overall, just great execution on this play. They had knowledge of one another. Patterson, wide open touchdown. Good play action touchdown pass to Gentry from Patterson here. Gentry's going to initially get number four. That gives Runyon some time to pick up uh, this edge rush from number four. Uh, Runyon does a good job of eventually getting engaged with number four uh, and protecting that left edge. So right here he does a good job, stays engaged throughout the pass. You've got Bradison uh, blocking to his left as well as Ruiz. Uh, they both do well. Uh, Bradison stays engaged throughout. Ruiz's guy kind of shifts over to... Uh, on when use territory, but Bradyson does well here. Um, so no issues there. When does a really good job with two blocks here. He's blocking down on this nose guard. Eventually this guy will shift over to his zone as well. So and when you will have blocked two defensive linemen uh, in the same play, you see both these guys kind of staggering back from when use blocks. So really good job from him on this one. JBB blocking down here, as well as McCune blocking down. McCune kind of goes upfield. Since he is an eligible receiver, he can kind of drive his defender without getting penalized for it. Uh, so he, you know, goes upfield, stays engaged well. Here's JBB. JBB's guy eventually falls down, just kind of trips. So good job by JBB. You have Ben Mason and uh, Higdon off of the play action, protecting the right side here. Good job by Higdon to kind of point Ben Mason in this side as this defender is flowing through. Uh, you will notice that Higdon could have done a better job on this block. Uh, Higdon gets shucked off a bit. Um, so you, you, you would like to see Higdon stay engaged there, but Ben Mason does a good job on this block. And then finally, uh, you know, routes. After this initial block, you just got a seam from McCune. And then from Oliver Martin, you have this sort of fade route. Uh, 
you know, um, it looks like the whole way that Patterson is going to go to to Gentry here. You see Ray of the play action. It looks like he's looking at this middle linebacker, kind of shifting between that and looking at the route. Um, he notices that this number seven creeps up a bit, so he's not threatening this route here as uh, the defender falls off of Gentry. So uh, good pass, good patience, good play overall. First down. Get down. Well, you, could, whoa, you could take a map. Another down G running play for Michigan. Higdon starts just running over people. On the backside, you got Gentry doing well on this edge defender. Miscommunication between JBB and Unwenu on the backside. Uh, one, you know, JBB goes over, uh, Unwenu goes under. That allows this defensive tackle into the backfield. Luckily, he doesn't make the play in the backfield, but a better defensive tackle might. So, don't like to see that. Um, you have Ruiz blocking down on this defensive tackle. He gets help from Runyon here. Uh, they're teaming up to cover the hole left from Bradison pulling. Uh, run, they do a really good job and force this guy down the line really well. After this block, uh, Ruiz will release to the second level. He'll actually pick up this backside linebacker flowing to the play. That opens up a big lane for Higdon on his run. So, a uh, really good job. You can see how far they get this guy off the line. And that really allows uh, Ruiz to get to this second level block on number five to really spring uh, Higdon open uh, in the second level. Uh, on the front side, uh, you got McCune blocking down, getting a lot of movement, and again, uh, running blocking down and getting help from Ruiz on that defensive tackle. So notice the movement that McCune gets here really well, uh, really well done. And then Runyon doesn't have anyone to block here, so he goes upfield, uh, but you know, could help on the double team and get into the second level. Uh, as I mentioned, you got Bradison pulling. He's on the outside. 25 is coming up. Uh, and actually challenges the play pretty well, but Bradyson makes a really nice block, stays engaged, and opens up this hole for Higdon. And the rest is really just Higdon doing Higdon things. Uh, notice right here when he's making the cut, this linebacker is flowing hard uh, to the right. I think Higdon notices that he's got both Bradyson and Ruiz flowing to the left, and that this lane off of their blocks will will open up. So he does a really nice job leaving number seven in the dust and just uh, plowing through a few defenders. So great job.